Now we're going to get into the be bedroom where the death occurred. Oh, Why would you do oh that? My God. Oh my God. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? No. It was a glass jar full of roaches that were alive. By far, everyone prefers the gory type biohazard cleanup jobs. Started here. Probably got back to his feet here because there's a puddle. It's just a lot. One of the most popular videos is Pop Goes the Body. Uh, for some odd reason, this particular person was living inside this storage unit and passed away from I don't know what. But because of the heat and the time that the person was in there, the body, you know, just kind of expanded with gases and then popped and leaked everywhere. So uh, he was ultimately discovered because of the bad odor and the flies and the maggots and stuff. What we're pretty much cleaning up at this point is his just fat. Another one is the double decomp. This was a uh, nudist resort where people live. Somebody passed away on the third floor and melted into the ceiling of the second floor below. It's not easy doing something like that. But somebody's got to do it. So when we started getting a ton of followers, I think most of us were really surprised at getting recognized outside of our work. People would stop us in you know, our vans, uh, at restaurants. I think the notoriety surprised us more than anything else. My name's Laura Spaulding. I'm the CEO of Spaulding Decon, a crime scene cleanup company. We have almost 4 million followers on TikTok. So I started my company in uh, 2005. I was working in law enforcement for about seven years. I was working a homicide and the lady asked me when we were coming back to clean it up. And uh, I had never been asked that question before, but it was kind of a light bulb moment because I, I didn't know how to answer it. I just know that we didn't do it. And I thought, this is for me. This is definitely something that I can do. We are here at the scene of a murder-suicide. And initially, I thought this would kind of just be a side hustle when I started. And now we have uh, 43 locations, and they're pretty spread out across the United States. The body didn't seem to go any further than this, but uh, there were footprints over, there is blood right there. over here at the sink and over by the refrigerator. So that's why we're over here. We do a variety of different property restoration type jobs. That includes homicide cleanup, suicide, unattended death, accidents, uh, hoarding jobs with um, animal hoarding or trash hoarding. There's gotta be something dead in here. When we started opening the DVDs and the VHS, we realized it was all child porn. It was just horrifying. It was the first quarter of 2019, and I proposed that we hire videography and we have them follow us on all of our jobs. And we kind of take an educational approach to it, almost like a cops meets law and order type thing. And we want to showcase the real life and death of what we do behind the scenes. You cannot and should not throw away porous materials with body fluids in them. And within just a few short months, we had like 60, 70,000 subscribers on YouTube and it has climbed. My director of marketing at the time when TikTok first came out said, hey, I think we should try this new platform, TikTok. In two weeks, we had 2.2 million followers. Now, I think the biggest surprise for me on TikTok is how many people tag us asking us questions on how to clean a certain thing or how to identify a stain or how do I get this out of, you know, bed sheets or whatever. Those spots on your hardwood floors, just take some 3% hydrogen peroxide, spray it on there. If it bubbles up, it's, it's a protein, which is likely blood. I think what draws people to our particular social media content is really curiosity. It's curiosity of kind of what happens to you when you die. That's something that I think a lot of people really don't know unless you're in the, you know, afterlife care, funeral industry, you're probably not exposed to something like that. All right, so we're at the scene of a double homicide that occurred approximately a year ago. We're here to clean up the bio in the areas affected. Over here too. Oof. It's 
so what I'm doing is I'm taking pictures. This is an active crime scene. Uh, we just got permission at 4.30ish last night to come in and go ahead and clean up. So when we're exposing what happens to blood after it's been sitting for a certain period of time or what happens to the human body and how do the gases, you know, kind of uh, explode and what, what that creates, you know, it's not pretty, but that's life. The whole point is, you know, we're breaking down to, to nothing, to bones. And then, you know, that's the circle of life for us. 